Cole Bennett. If you've been a fan of rap or honestly pop culture in general, anytime after 2017, you've probably heard his name at least a couple of times, and if not, then surely you've heard of his company and brand, Lyrical Lemonade. In case you didn't know, Cole Bennett is the mastermind behind Lyrical Lemonade, a video production outlet turned one-stop media and merch company that's behind many breakout visuals from this generation's top young stars. And after getting a start from blogging about rising Chicago artists, Cole has since worked with artists like Eminem, Justin Bieber, Kanye West, Lil Uzi Vert, and J. Cole. But how did he get here? How did this random blogger from Chicago get to work with the industry's best and even be the catalyst of growth for some of the most popular artists in recent times? My name is Grisa and I make video essays on things I mess with. So today, let's take a deep dive into the life of Cole Bennett and how he changed the entire world with Lyrical Lemonade. Cole Bennett was born on May 14th, 1996 in Plano, Illinois, and attended Plano High School, which would actually end up being the setting of one of his most popular music videos in the future. Growing up, he was inspired heavily by the rap culture in Chicago, and while he was in high school, his mother bought him a video camera. His time growing up consisted of him taking hour-long treks into the main city of Chicago to check out some of the emerging rap scene led by guys like Chief the Keef and Chance the Rapper, and making music videos for some of his friends and underground rappers in Chicago as well as capturing live performances. He brought a fresh, energetic style to the game, captivating viewers with his dynamic visuals and captivating narratives. Cole's talent for capturing the essence of a song and translating it into a visual masterpiece sorta became his trademark. But as Cole's local reputation grew, so did his ambitions, and at some point here, Cole knew he could produce something game-changing. So, in 2013, Cole decided to create a website blog for his creative work and thoughts, a website that would go on to change change his life forever. The name? Lyrical Lemonade. But yeah, as you can see, Lyrical Lemonade didn't start off as this massive juggernaut media company. Of, of course, at the start, it was just Cole, his camera, and his computer. And if you're paying attention, you might have realized that 2013 is most definitely not the year where Cole started seeing success. In fact, I know I personally didn't start following the brand until 2017. So what happened during the come up? Let's fill in those gaps. Cole, obviously still being in high school, had very limited resources at the start. In fact, it's crazy, but in the very beginning of his pursuit, Cole just overall had a difficult time finding artists that were willing to work with him. But he grinded and kept moving forward, recording music videos for tons of local artists in Chicago that never really went anywhere, but Cole was passionate. He didn't care if the videos weren't successful right out the gate because he knew he had a vision and he knew that he needed to stick to it. He became so dedicated that he dropped out of DePaul University after one semester of film school. And two things led to him making that decision, both of which Cole has shared multiple times over before. But the first was the opportunity that he had to make a music video for Famous Dex, who actually had tons of buzz back in 2016. Cole made some connections with Dex's main videographer, Laka Films, who allowed Cole to be behind the scenes and meet Famous Dex at another video shoot. Through that and showing what Cole could do, Famous Dex decided to give him a chance to direct a music video of his own with a very quick deadline. And when I mean quick, uh, Dex literally called Cole a couple hours after filming, asking him if the video was already fully edited and ready to be released. Needless to say though, Cole had the video ready to drop the next day. Yeah, hit it with it. Yeah, yeah, hit it with it. And that song slash video combo ended up being the first breakout hit for Cole as it currently sits at over 20 million views on the Lyrical Lemonade channel. And the song slash video combo for Hit Him With It ended up being the first breakout hit for Cole as it currently sits at over 20 million views on the Lyrical Lemonade channel. The other event that led to Cole being confident enough to drop out of school was the success of one of his shows that he had thrown. You see, early 2016 was a time where Lil Uzi Vert was just starting to gain popularity and Cole, having all already thrown a few rap concerts in Chicago, decided that booking Lil Uzi for his first ever Chicago show would be a very smart move to make. What followed after, however, no one could have seen coming. At the time of booking, Cole had paid a $2,000 deposit of an $8,000 price tag to book Lil Uzi Vert for a show that was two months out. However, when it came time to actually do the show, Uzi was charging people anywhere from $60,000 to $70,000 per show 
due to his popularity just absolutely exploding. But of course, because Cole had already paid that deposit, Uzi and his team honored the agreement and Cole ended up getting an absolute steal of a booking deal in what ended up being the first legendary live concert that Lyrical Lemonade had put together. Concert footage on their channel from this show has garnered millions of views over the years and days after the show, Cole heard people around him in college talking about how crazy the show was, not knowing that they were right next to the guy who orchestrated all of this. This, in my opinion, probably gave Cole also the future confidence to years later create the annual Lyrical Lemonade Summer Smash Festival, which now brings in nearly 100,000 people every single year, with Lil Uzi Vert almost always being one of the headliners. But let's bring it back a little. After shooting the Hit Him With It video for Famous Dex, things really started to change for Cole. Lil Bibby, King Louie, and almost every other Chicago artist that Cole grew up listening to started calling him up to work with him. This was the turning point that Cole was waiting for. He ended up going to LA to shoot a video with Soulja Boy and another with Jay Stash, but it wasn't until Cole started focusing on the emerging artists that he would see major success. I feel like many people don't even talk about this, but another pivotal step in Cole's career was linking up with Smoke Perp and then later on Lil Pump to shoot videos for them. In fact, D Rose and Flex Like Ooh two of Pump's biggest songs coming up were indeed shot by Cole Bennett and released on the Lyrical Lemonade YouTube channel. D Rose currently has over 200 million views on YouTube and is actually the 16th most viewed video Cole has ever uploaded on that channel. And of course, following the release of those videos, Cole had started to really see progression, with nearly every video following clearing over 100,000 views easy. And with it now being 2017, we are now entering the beginning of prime Lyrical Lemonade. Cole would end up shooting videos for Ski Mask the Slum God, Lil Xan, Lil Skies, and Trippy Red this year, all who were practically unknown by the mainstream until the release of these videos. I still remember the feeling I had when seeing a music video for a rapper named Lil Xan in my home feed. It was definitely a wild time for sure. And hate on Xan all you want, but I'll die on the hill that Betrayed was actually a banger for its time, and there's a reason that it got as popular as it did. My favorite artist by far to come up from Lyrical Lemonade, though, was Lil Skies. And from the moment they dropped the video for Red Roses, to later on that year dropping the video to Nowadays, I knew this Lyrical Lemonade Lil Skies duo had the potential to absolutely take over the music scene, and I was kinda right. The chemistry that Skies, Cole, and even Landon had was unmatched, and it seemed like a lot of others picked up on it too, with Lil Skies having multiple videos with Cole Bennett reaching over that 100 million view mark. In fact, I'd say that Skies was the most consistent artist that Cole had worked with in terms of song slash video performance, if it wasn't for one other guy that would pop into the scene in early 2018. An artist that would go on to feature in six out of the 12 most popular Lyrical Lemonade music videos ever, an artist that would go on to impact an entire generation before and even after his untimely passing, it's no secret or surprise, that artist was Juice World. The story of the connection between Juice and Cole was essentially the stars aligning. Both creatives are from Chicago and just have that local bond, and as much as Cole had loved this craft and wanted to be the best in his industry, Juice wanted the same for the rap game. Put them together, and what you get is a literal machine of hits on hits. Juice made some of the most emotional music that Cole had ever had to direct videos for, and it seemed like both of their visions perfectly aligned with every song fitting right in with the video that accompanied it. This was really one of those you had to be there moments in terms of watching how fast both Juice and Cole grew from that first All Girls Are The Same video to only even a year after. But the impact they left can still be witnessed to this day just by checking out the Lyrical Lemonade channel. But this was it. I'd say 2017 through 2019 were the absolute golden years in terms of the Lyrical Lemonade takeover. People love an underdog story and witnessing the brand grow from essentially being unknown to being more popular and sought out by artists than Worldstar was an absolute crazy time. And not only did the artist that I mentioned previously rise to fame with Cole's help, but during this time Cole was responsible for the viral music videos of guys like Lil Tecca, Enelie Choppa, Lil Mosey, Blueface, Jack Harlow, YNW Melly, YBN Namir, Polo G, The Kid Leroy, and many others. It really seemed like around this time, if you got a music video directed by Cole and posted on the Lyrical Lemonade YouTube channel, you were about to explode in popularity and become a top played artist. This time also saw the rise of the entire brand of Lyrical Lemonade. Having a hoodie with that simple but clean carton logo meant that you were in the know as to what was popping, 
and just the overall merch side of things for Cole was going crazy with every drop selling out before most could even get their hands on these pieces. And after this period, Cole ended up leveling up and getting to work with absolute legends in the game such as Kanye West, Eminem, and even Justin Bieber, as due to all the buzz, the mainstream not only couldn't ignore Cole any longer, they genuinely sought out to work with him. Since Lyrical Lemonade legitimately had their own fan base at this point that would listen to any song being uploaded on the channel, whether they were a fan of the artist or not. And while many might say that the Lyrical Lemonade effect isn't as prevalent as it was a couple years ago, I'd say that Cole still has artists that he seems to have built a great working relationship with and continues to drop music videos for, like Baby Tron, Lil Yachty, and of course, Yeet who's one of the biggest breakout artists of the last couple of years. Nowadays, Lyrical Lemonade has evolved into a prominent media company recognized for its innovative content and events that showcase both established and emerging artists. We mentioned Summer Smash briefly earlier, but that is truly becoming one of the biggest rap festivals in the US behind Rolling Loud. Cole having a genuine connection with the artists on the lineup from years of friendships and just working together makes the entire feel of the weekend feel less corporate and more family oriented with many artists during the sets bringing Cole out to show love and just vibe on stage as friends. I know personally, Summer Smash is my favorite festival to attend because of those vibes and a uh, slight flex, but I also wanted to share a really dope video I took at this year's event during the Little Sky set. Oh, yeah. This was honestly super cool. At the end of the day, we can't even be sure if Cole ever figured that he and his brand would grow to the level where they're at today. What started as a simple blog website by a college kid has transformed into the modern day version of MTV, with Lyrical Lemonade being its own established media company, merch store, event provider, and for some, even lifestyle. And the crazy thing is, with Cole's constant want to tackle new endeavors, such as him stating that one of his dreams is to direct full-on movies in the future, we really don't know what's next for Lyrical Lemonade, but one thing's for sure, it's all going to be a very interesting thing to witness. Thank you so much for watching, subscribe.